Alright, like I said earlier, in order to get the media from your computer or your server to the TV itself, you got to install some Samsung software, which is totally free to download from Samsung, called PC Share Manager. Uh, one of the big problems with this is it's meant to be user-friendly, but it ends up having a lot of errors. Uh, the first thing I would recommend for this is uh, set your TV to a static IP address instead of a dynamic one. It does have a accept deny policy, which by default for everything is deny. Uh, so basically if your power goes out or whatever uh, and you get a new IP address, you'll have to go back in here and accept it uh, all over again. If you have a static IP address, you won't be running into that problem. Uh, the next thing you got to do here is, uh, you know, I got a Windows box with about 2 terabyte server uh, running RAID 5 configuration. You actually got to add in each folder that you want to share from your computer and uh, then hit this uh, set change state or refresh uh, button. And, you know, this part isn't too bad. It tells you what folders you want to share. The problem is this thing right here updates the Samsung database and it takes for freaking ever to do. Uh, I've seen it take about 12 hours to do. Then again, I'm sharing about 900 gigs worth of stuff. Uh, if I go in here and you know it also creates for each video file doesn't create this for the picture files or the music files that I know of creates a little MTA file associated with each video file uh, the problem with that is uh, when you go to browse from a different computer you got a bunch of movies in the same folder you see a bunch of junk basically in your uh, in the same folder and be nice to make those hidden or not have them at all so it's using its own little proprietary uh, sharing system here uh, another problem is every once in a while it does get hung up for whatever reason like uh, I can't share my music file yet because you know it's 80 gigs worth of music for some reason it keeps getting hung up somewhere and you see it's actually taking a while here uh, and it just ends up in an infinite loop uh, one of the things I use to help me figure out what exactly is going on in here when I'm processing is Process Monitor from Sys Internals. If I filter it down to Samsung and uh, it'll tell me, show me if it's stuck or not or if it's processing other files. Uh, if it does get stuck, one thing I usually have to do is go into Control Panel. There's a way to shut it down from here and restart the service, but it's usually better not that one, but that one. Go into services and scroll on down to Samsung All Share, and I have to restart that service every once in a while. Uh, that's also the case when it, the PC Share doesn't show up on the TV for whatever reason. Uh, That pretty much wraps up this video. Hopefully it helped you in your decision to purchase a Samsung TV. Uh, I really believe that internet TV and media servers and uh, the whole nine yards is the wave of the future, so get ready. You aren't going to see cable channels in their current form about 20, 30 years from now. So hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully it helped you out. Have a good day.